and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Teamer Golos. This was one of the most popular decks that we played last week, and it was a lot of fun to play. So we are back at it, bringing it back here on this 12 hour fun deck stream today. Yep, I am a full time streamer. That's what I do each and every day. Um, so yeah, what we have going on here is we have our basically our elemental ramp deck, right? Like we have our mana creatures, we have our risen reefs, which are of course one of our most important th cards, and then our cavaliers, our uh, cavaliers help us ramp, and we just try to get as many lands in play. And we have uh, Star of Extinction, which is which honestly. Whenever I first looked at this deck list, this is a donation deck from Matthew here. When I first looked at this, I was like, well, if we're playing all these creatures and we're ramping, why do we want to ramp into Star of Extinction and blow up all of our creatures? Well, it turns out that since we're not using any other removal, our opponents also are playing a whole bunch of stuff, including usually like, you know, they have like Nyssa. This is really good, but they're, they're doing all their things and they have a bunch of stuff. But since I'm putting a lot of lands into play with Risen Reef and Cavalier of Thorns and stuff like that, it's not just mana creatures that we have in play. So we have a lot more lands than them. We play Star of Extinction, blow up the board. Usually we have more cards because of Risen Reef, more lands, and we're just ahead. And we blow up one of their lands also. Um, so the Star of Extinctions have actually been really, cl really clutch for us. They're very good against the Scapeshift decks too. They Scapeshift, you use Star of Extinction, <laughs> get rid of all their zombies and get rid of one of their Field of the Deads. Um, and then, yeah. We got Golos here also. We have two of each. We have two black sources and two white sources to go grab with Golos. Cavalier Thorns helps find them. And then if we just start activating Golos in the late game, that's <clears throat> that's hard to beat. It's very, very good against the Flash decks, of course. I had that before. We have Hydro Crazes, which is an awesome mana sink. Basically, this deck, this deck has so much value. What we learned last time is that it can be difficult to win the games before decking yourself. That's what we have to kind of worry about. Is we have to like worry about actually winning games before we deck ourselves. Um, let's see. I put a second Awakened Inferno over here because it's good against control and good against these um, the Escape Drift decks with all the zombies. We got the Blood Suns over here that we didn't have before. Melodies are great against... Uh, vampires, you know, take those Adanto vanguards that don't die to Star of Extinction and stuff like that. Take their Knight of the Ebon Legion that's impossible to kill anyway. Um, but yeah, let's let's get to it. Team Orgolos. I think you're playing two guys blessings in the sideboard. I don't really like Guy's Blessing. I don't think that card's really worth it. I'd rather just have Jace. I think Jace is just a better card. And Jace, you know, you win the game if you mill out. But I, I could see playing some Jaces in the sideboard. It's also just a card advantage engine. Um, the, you crafted this one, Rex, and you're enjoying it? Nice. Yeah, this is a pretty sweet deck. Well, we're not doing anything here. I mean, I like having Leafkin Druid on turn two. Let's keep this. If what we need to draw is all of the spells in our deck, I think we're, I think we're in an okay spot. Okay. Oh, you you did put in the Jace, and you're getting several wins with the Jace. Okay, well, maybe I'm supposed to have the Jason here. Well, my opponent has one land. It would be a shame if something happened to that land. <laughs> I 
this is kind of weird that you know we kept like the five lander and all we've drawn is lands my opponent kept the one lander they haven't drawn any lands Change me. Magic's a weird game. You have, you have just some, some games that are weird here in Magic. <laughs> they just conceded? I, I literally didn't do anything. <laughs> I literally didn't do anything. Let's try Chandra over Tamiyo for this matchup. I guess so. I guess they're gonna they could have Pride. Yeah, this like this is a Pride Mate deck, and Pride Mate could get really really big, and I wouldn't be able to kill Pride Mate. So maybe actually let's go. Oh, I guess we Star of Extinction kills Pride Mate. What am I talking about? So I was gonna say let's put get Melody in here. Hmm. All right, I'm still I'm gonna play melodies instead of Tamios. So the only card I played that game was a two mana O three. It's like such a bad draft card, even just a two mana O three. It had no text. It didn't do anything. And my opponent was like, "That's it. Can't handle it. Two mana O three." I'm only just attacking here. I'm not the only one. Now our opponent's on four cards. Oh, and one. One of them's a Johnny's Welcome. Yeah, that's not a very good card. So they're basically on three cards. I guess that's a pretty good hand. Lucky for me, I'm not the only one. So yeah, we're going till about midnight. All right, Yun. Good luck at work today. So getting rid of this healer's hawk. Slow my opponent down a little bit. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. No reason to chump block this turn because the... Primate will just be bigger next turn. We'll just jump block next turn. What do they got? Each opponent can't cast instant or sorcery spells during that player's next turn. Okay.
<clears throat> Just have five fives against one ones. Yeah, I... So, I, I wanted to keep the Land War Elf to make sure that we had the seven mana, but then I, afterwards I realized I should just block with the Land War Elf instead of the Risen Reef. I think there should be a block with the Land War Elf. Ugh, it's the Risen Reef. Because I was just going to be playing the 5-5 five five the next turn anyway. Alright, well that was a quick one. Team or Golos. Do you know what's blue and not heavy? Light blue. <laughs> it's pretty good. Well, so Golos doesn't do X spells. Like you, you for X spells you only cast like so. So revealing Krasis off Golos doesn't help you very much. Um, you can only do you only get zero for X. So getting like Mind Spring doesn't help you. Hello, Vince. All right, we ramping. Oh, also, Star of Extinction is pretty nice with Cavalier of Thorns. The Cavalier of Thorns puts something back also for you. Wild Growth Walker. That is so wild. <laughs> Look at this kitty loving it. I didn't realize you got to see the, like, whenever you're doing that. Risen Reef? I'm so jealous. I want a Risen Reef. Give me that. Alright, so this is definitely an Entrancing Melody matchup. I want to take the Risen Reefs. Spooky Omnath. Oh. Target an elemental. Can't target Paradise Druid. Yep, looks like Soul Tie Command. Yeah, your ox are a really fun card to play. Hostage taker. That's like kind of good for me. By kind of good, I mean very good. It's like kind of very good for me. <laughs> that like kind of couldn't be better. Poor opponent. Opponent's about to become extinct. Don't know if that's what my opponent was expecting. Yeah. Now they're down to four lands. See, that's what I'm talking about. Star Extinction is kind of great. 
It's just kind of great. You got 26 mythic, mythic wild cards? Lucky. You should not play land first. Uh, before, because Omnath coming back. Unless, you're probably talking about a few turns ago, though. Crucian. Never mind, sorry. You were probably talking about it before. GG's. Yeah, would you? No, I wouldn't. I would never expect Star of Extinction either. I am not my. I do not blame my opponent for not expecting Star of Extinction. <laughs> All right, so Melody in. What's out though? There's like not bad cards here. All right, need or some more Orzhov sacrifice in your life? Okay. Chandra is terrible against elemental decks. She does damage to non elementals. You do not want Chandra in these elemental matchups. I mean, my opponent getting ta my yeah, I guess it's Tamio, because my opponent getting Tamio with Command the Dreadhorde is kind of a nightmare. I guess it's not that big of a nightmare because we have Star of Extinction, but Tamio getting back Star of Extinction is really cool. I want to play one Tamio. I'll cut that random Paradise Druid. I never expect the second Star of Extinction. It's true. Well, our opponent does know that we have two Star of Extinctions because we, we milled one over with Cavalier of Thorns also, besides the one that we just played, like after we played it, when the Cavalier of Thorns re-entered. So they've they've seen two. Um, question is, how mathematically bad is running 61? And not really that bad. Not really that bad. For what, for what kind of deck numbers? I'd say probably Legion's End. Yeah, so you can only craft elite one Legion's End or one Blood Sun, and you only have one Legion's End right now. I would I would say Legion's End, because Legion's End is awesome against the Vampire decks too, and Vampire decks are pretty popular. For Mardu Hero, yeah, I would go Legion's End. Um, I don't think so, Crucian. I don't think there's been many Golos decks in paper tournaments. I don't I don't know if there's been many paper tournaments with M20. I think that they probably kill my Risen Reef in response to Omnath. Go Los! No Los! Hmm. This was not ideal. That's not good. 
Hey, WQ. I'm so jealous. My opponent has my Risen Reef. Yeah. So any decks out there trying to run Kethys? Yeah, we played a Kethys deck um, before that. It didn't do super, super well, but it it was really cool. I liked it quite a bit. All right, looks like prob maybe another Disdainful Stroke here. I think I'm just going to go Krasis. I was actually expecting a block. I think I'm just going to go Krasis. Yeah. Krasis does get Disdainful Stroked because while it's on the stack, it has CMC of 4 plus the 2. When it's in play, it's just the two. Cool. That's good for us. No, no counter magic here. Yeah, and Krasis has the cast trigger, so if Krasis gets countered, still draw the cards. So opponent still has... Still has... Five cards in hand. Just pressuring them because of Command the Dread Horde. My plan with like my plan was to have my cavalier get back my risen reef but with that block I was unable to do that So I'm just getting the melody back Wait, why what what are you doing opponent? Why why are you keeping Lanor Elf? It's not a card to keep. <laughs> I don't know why my phone's keeping that. That's n that's not a card you should keep. Ooh, give me that. All right, so that costs five mana. So I could I could steal that and Risen Reef. No, neither of us are close to decking. They got 40 cards. I have less than that. I'm closer. I'm at 33. 
Yeah, that would be a bummer if they did have mass manipulation here, and that's what they were keeping the land elves for more mana for mass manipulation. That would be a bummer. I know. Our po poor Golos. All right, hostage taker, are you getting the crisis? I think an 8 8 crisis. That's, that's kind of big. It's kind of big. <laughs> I like it, Lost McFounds. It's gonna take a lot for him to take this game away from you. All right, let's start with the Cavalier of Gales. Draw some lands. No lands. There's all the lands. Yeah, we could probably use a Jace in here. So we're down to 22 cards, and like, you know, this gets rid of another five cards. These, all these things get rid of so many cards, and we have to like kill our opponent still. Shuffle back the Cavalier Gale, Scry 2. Yeah. Lands are cool. I need more lands. Nexus was only banned in the best of one format. It's... It's still allowed in best of three. All right, so I got a pretty good plan here. My plan is my opponent's attacking me with this 8-8. Eight, eight. Good. And then I block with my 5-6. And I get Star of Extinction back. And I play Leaf Kin Druid. And I put these lands into play. And then we starve extinction. A counter spell was not part of my plan. Oh, that was not part of my plan. Not part of the plan.
<laughs> Dude, Negate has been so rough for me today, hasn't it? Negate's been crushing me all day. Like, like, both losses with the mono black control were like solely on the back of Negate. Still kind of wish I had that Jace. I could feel like I could mill myself out. Wow. Artful takedown. Yeah. Sure. Why not? All right, so their plan is disdainful stroke. So the only the only cards we've seen that are like good against us are disdainful stroke, hostage taker. So we're gonna play these veil of summers, and I'm not gonna melody, and I'm gonna play this other tamio. And I guess I cut Golos in this matchup. Which is kind of sad. Yeah, I don't think this is a Golos matchup. <laughs> hey, Caesar. What were you watching in Legacy? That crisis was mine that my opponent took. I, I don't we haven't seen any crisis from our opponent. They hostage takered my crisis. Oh sorry, Walker. Um Okay, yeah, like just with Jace, yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's Yeah, I, I think I should be playing some Jaces, basically. I think that's the the moral of the story here. Not exactly sure where we want to play the Jaces. I mean, Nexus is pretty awesome. The, you know, yesterday during our Tier 1 Tuesday stream, we were playing some Bant Ramp uh, where... Um, Nexus was a big part of my win con there. Hello. Artful takedown. Reanimator Bant Delver. Ah, uh, yeah. Quasi dupla. Quasi dupla reef. Okay. Yeah, when you have the reef and get to copy it, it, it does get crazy. Um, we played a a Bant, um, call it Bant Vanifar deck. Like that, that had Vanifar to go find reef and, um, and the other card, whatever that card's called. Um, the two mana one also. That went and put it into play. That you sacrifice with the two man one, you go get Reef, and then it had you know, like mirror image and spark double. That you go get those things to copy your reefs and everything. Spark double on a Yurok with and Reef, yeah. Ah, uh, these hostage shakers are killing me. I need this Veil of Summer. been hostage taker and K 
counter spell have been like the the things that have been killing us. Dueling you will be excellent research. Let me aid your research. Well, that was a bunch of bad cards that we just put down at the bottom. Or they're just putting our graveyard. Three lands and a Leafkin Druid. That was a good tick up. River's Rebuke is nice. So who gets this die trigger? Do I get the die trigger when it dies, or do they? Because it, it'd have to be, like, me, right? Or what, would it be them? I don't know who gets that die trigger. Subject is easily they get it if it dies? I noted this somewhere. I don't think it's it's worth it for me to to just keep the Veil of Summer up to like really um, kind of tell my opponent that I have Veil of Summer kind of thing. And just be like, oh, I, there, or like, you know, that I have something there. <clears throat> I'm just not playing my Risen Reef with three mana. So next turn, we go three for Reef, three for Reef, two for Druid, two for Druid. And we just draw millions of cards. Let's keep one druid. We need to find Star of Extinction. Of course. That's what that's what our game is right now. I guess I could keep both of them. Yeah, we are doing really good today. This game Yeah, we've had we've had a very good day today. Uh, this game is definitely in the balance here. Grabbing your rock. Neoform's been really good. That card's looked really impressive. I don't want to say no blocks. Yeah, I'm gonna say no blocks. I have learned a little here. All right, well, we still haven't seen any of our three Star of Extinctions over halfway through our library. They should come up here at some point. A 
<laughs> yeah, it's a that's a really cool program called Deckmaster that allows you to scroll over the cards to read them and everything to help you out. Yeah, I mean, I, I need Star of Extinction. Otherwise, it's looking very bad for me now. Thing draws a lot of cards for me. Are you kidding me? We've gone through 42 cards and we haven't seen any of them yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Am I actually killing my opponent before I'm decking? This is a real question. I'm just going to lose. I'm just going to deck. Ugh. Discard seven cards. So one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we need Jace in here. This is like the first time, like, there's been a lot of times where we've been close to decking. This is the first time that I actually think that we're going to be decking. Oh, like, playing the, the deck last last league and this league, There's there's been a lot of times, like, where we're pretty close. But this is really the first time that I'm thinking we are actually dead.
We haven't seen a Command the Dreadhorde yet, no. I didn't play Veil because obviously we didn't know they were going to play the Wave Crasher, but they've they've had a lot of counter spells, and I I don't want my Star of Extinction to get countered. Yeah, I don't, maybe our opponent can deck before us. Unlikely. Now they have to discard a bunch of cards. exactly why they're saying good game. But yeah, it's if I if I had a Jace available, <laughs> but we don't. Ten cards left. Right, Cavalier Gills, you're gonna have to do a lot of work. Oh, looks like the, looks like they do have command. Cause yeah, if we had Jace in the deck, we would have been able to win this turn. You know, I wouldn't have discarded all of these Cavalier Thorns and stuff. We could have easily milled ourselves out here. Like, if our opponent gets too many Risen Reefs, maybe they mill themselves out. Like, maybe they mill themselves out before us, basically. Maybe we just try to stay alive. All right, so I'm doing that right now so the Hostage Taker can't even target my creatures. Because Hostage Taker is not a... It's not a May. It just targets. So they got to target stuff. So they got to target their own things. Context. I like this. I like that they're targeting the Risen Reef. I want more Risen Reef trigger, so Risen Reef leaving and then re-entering is good for me.
There's a lot of triggers. I would really like them to play another elemental here. They're probably playing Branch Walker. Uh, I just want them to play more stuff. Just play more things. <clears throat> just play more things. They have 16 cards left. They did not play more things. I was the one with you. Hmm. If only I would have one more elemental and Omnath would be able to kill this hostage taker to get the Risen Reef back. I guess that'd just be two Risen Reef triggers there. They probably have like all of their negates by now. They're all about saying good game. Yes. Oh, that is great. Wow, what a play for me. Oh, that's great. They're down to eight. I'm at seven. I wish I didn't have to play the Star of Extinction here, but Nissa 
changes things. I have to because Anissa. Play Wild Growth Walker. All right, put it back. Shuffle it up. <clears throat> Scry two. Those look like as good of cards as I need to draw. So do I want to play Cavalier Gales here? I kind of want to put both Cavalier Gales out the same turn. Yeah, Arena gets really laggy whenever it gets down this low. Time-wise. No, we can't we can't play Cavalier of Thorns. Cavalier of Thorns mills over our whole library. We do, we do not want Cavalier of Thorns. We die if we play the Cavalier of Thorns. Gosh, this is so good for me. Uh, I don't know if we'll stay alive though. I don't know, Hawkeye, if we'll stay alive. We've seen Negate from them. That's that's the card that I'm certainly scared of. I think Negate's going to be the card that's going to get us. Put some lands in their hand. Darn it. That's not a land. That would have been great if Jade Light hit, hit a land or two. I'm one card down now I need my opponent to draw another card I need them to play this Cavalier of Night oh Vale's going to draw me a card though darn it
Yeah, that's how our opponent got game two, is the artful takedown, getting rid of two creatures. Do I want them to sacrifice the creature? My opponents thought this game has been over like eight times now. And it's still not over. Not yet, at least. Three to three. I'm drawing first, though. That stupid card from Vela Summer. So really hoping they were going to be playing Hostage Taker there, not Cavalier. I have I have a Cavalier of Gales and a Cavalier of Thorns there. Uh, gosh, how do I be hostage taker? I don't. I can't win. I can't win. I know, Hawkeye, I can't win. Wait, cancel. What are you doing? Yeah, our our opponent could give it to us still. Like if our opponent plays correctly, I can't win. But they could mess up. Oh, give him a land, give him a land. Oh, come on. And a cast down? That's another card I can't beat. Oh, I not just give him a land. Alright, I, I guess I just shouldn't have killed the Risen Reef. Yeah, I guess killing the Risen Reef was a mistake. If for for the whole Omnath thing, I guess if I no, I guess because yeah, I guess Omnath just kills me if I don't. Yeah, because if they had the Risen Reef, I guess I'm at zero instead of at one. So. Well, I think we would have won this if we had Jace. <laughs> Is it finally a good game? Our opponent said that so many times, and I stayed alive for a really long time. But yeah, if, if we would have had Jace, we would have been able to mill ourselves out a long, long time ago and, and win with Jace, but we just didn't have Jace. GG's. <laughs> Thanks, Dykstra. I tried. I tried.
I don't believe there's any issue with the sound. Hey, Kurtash. Hi, right, Hawkeye, we're at one and one. So Blood Crypt Firebrand. So not just mono red. Could have some butcher here. Butcher would be rough. Darn it. This Butcher makes me want to block. But if I block, I don't get to Risen Reef. I think it's no blocks. I can I can play Kalia next, Kurtash. All right, drawing the land was really good. That means I get to have the Paradise Druid block this Butcher. And hopefully hit more lands. There we go. Yeah, the Mono Black list is awesome. Uh, you can find it uh, there, Dex there, or you can also find the video of it on the YouTube channel. Yeah, y'all want Kalia you next? Okay. I am Pavia. It is into the library. Cavalier. <laughs> yep. Or control, control C, control V. Or control C, copy. All right, Hawkeye, we are eight hours in to our 12 hour stream now. Picked some long decks today here, some long videos. All right, so I want to do that first before choosing what to do with Tamiyo to give me more information. Um, I think I'm just going to grab Cavalier of Gales. Or I could get Risen Reef and then go Risen Reef plus Omnath next turn if I draw a land. I'd have to draw a land, though. Uh, ticking up means it's even harder to kill Tamiyo. I tick up. And find. More Cavaliers. <laughs> okay, is it me? 
Oh no. Um. Sorry, Tamio. Oh yeah, I don't have to sacrifice. Tamio, you great. Do not harm my scrolls. Making it difficult to work. No, why do you want to tap both my red sources all the time? Just tap one red source. Oh, darn. Didn't hit the land there. If I hit the land there, I would have been able to, you know, it would have been eighth land, put the counter on the Risen Reef. That would have been nice. I think you will find my notes helpful. I don't even know what, like, anything else to name here. We already have everything we need, basically. I'm just basically milling myself out if I name anything else. So still got 30 cards. We're still doing okay on cards. <laughs> that was Hawkeye meowing Alice in Chains. That wasn't me. I could definitely see more play another playcrafter in our opponent's hand. Something. We need more land drops. I have learned much from my ancestors. Just kind of targeted the first land that wasn't a shock land. Uh, honestly, we, we don't need more red sources at all. It would have been better to get like a Hinchelin Harbor or something there. Hey, don't start any fires the clock on top me. of your names runs out, does it go to turns with the person? No, it's... <laughs> If your clock runs out, you just lose automatically. So it's it's a way to lose if your clock running out. More data will be needed. Time to get a big Risen Reef.
More big risen reefs. We're at 17 cards. There we go. Yeah, to choose the order of the abilities going on the stack, you have to go to the gameplay options, and you go to your options and gameplay, and there is auto order triggered abilities. You probably have that checked. If you uncheck it, then you then you order your own triggered abilities. So Tamio actually looks pretty good there, stopping me from sacrificing stuff. So we get some flame sweep action, shiv and fire, melody. Um. <clears throat> no, I know we haven't used Golos at all yet. It's sad. Last time, Golos was really good for us because we played against like the Flash decks, and all we had to do was just resolve Golos, and then it was three, three, uh, just instantly, just three cards every turn, and you know, Flash decks can't counter three cards a turn. Um, you're expensive, but you kill stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking Teamer Golos needs to be Teamer Jace, and the Golos is just turned into Jace's. Donation decklist creator link. Um, yeah, here's this is a there's where you can uh, put a deck. It's a place where you can create a deck there. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Veil of Summer would be really good against a bunch of triggers from Judith or even Dreadhorde Butcher. The other good thing about if if you move away from Golos, you don't have to play as many Shocklands. We have a ton of Shocklands in this deck. And now, not playing as many Shocklands would help you stay alive. Yeah, they'd have to they have to choose some other target that's not me, at least. Yeah, Golos was awesome in the mono black deck. Yeah, Golos is like the star of the mono black deck for sure. Just all shock lands. I want to play Cavalier Gales right now, but I also do not want to <laughs> do not want to pay two life. Field of Ruin looks a little awkward in our opponent's deck.
think that'll do it. Yeah, if I shock, I lose. If I play Riz... If I shock, I lose because they just can do two to me and there's, these are two unblocked. To, uh, or two creatures, we can only block one. So I have to play Risen Reef. I guess Risen Reef could hit... Two me like could hit Shivan Fire. Shivan Fire? Nope. And they just kill Risen Reef, do one to me, do four to me. Alright, now we're on the play. The Tamios out here get another Omnath and go. Oh wait, Tamios keep me from, from from sacrificing stuff. But maybe they sported out the things that make me sacrifice stuff because they saw Tamio before. Yeah, Shocklands are are good. Um, <clears throat> Shocklands are good a lot of times, but just not when it's only Shocklands and you're against the aggro deck that's pinging you to death. All right, well, don't really mind the Leafkin Druid dying there because at least slows down our, you know, our opponent hasn't done anything yet. Okay, well, now that's a little, that's a little problem. Don't worry, I brought company. <laughs> Eight hours. We've been streaming for a little while today. <laughs> So Cavalier Thorns does die to cast down, unfortunately. We'll see. This could get messy for us. Oh, so cute. Yeah, we are going to have some good turns here, but... You know, like, hopefully I don't have another cast down in hand. Certainly hoping they don't have another cast down in hand. My Shivan fires. I need you. Good. Didn't have one in hand. So that's a minus to Chandra to use that one there. And then I can starve extinction. This is, yeah, I, I forgot that Cavalier gets you straight into Star of Extinction, so this is looking good for me. That's a cute play, but I think I would prefer them just using the cast down and hitting me if I'm on their side of the table. Two, negative 18, three, negative 17. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're gonna have time for a Chandra Tribal tonight. And I haven't, I haven't uh, fixed that deck yet or, you know, really tuned it up. 
like I have the other decks. I was kind of planning on, on doing that during the stream, but I don't think we're going to have time for that. <laughs> Star is OP. Just got more five six, more five sixes. It's just so big. Yes, Chandra, yes. This triggers Risen Reef twice. Yeah, because you're putting in two elementals. Yep. No, I don't think True Fire Captain Star of Extinction is really a, a thing for standard. Golos. Only one land throughout all those cards. They're trying to kill my five sixes. They're, do I mean, they're doing a good job of killing the five sixes, but they keep coming back. No more promise. No more sorrow. No longer will I follow. Like, I, I could have been greedy and play the Risen Reef first. Let's play this thing so my opponent gives up. I have never been bodied by True Fire Star of Extinction, I don't think. Crisis. All right, back up to twenty three. Man, this is coming close to a two hour league, and we've only played three games, <laughs> three matches. Oh. <clears throat> we had that that one match was like a fifty minute match. Or it's probably more, it's actually probably close to an hour on its own, actually. Yeah, because the timers were like five minutes to three minutes. And then plus the sideboarding time and everything like that. Yeah, it was probably like an hour match that we had against the Sultai deck. You left, you made supper, watched a show after Mono Black, and you came back in time for match three. <laughs> I 
Yeah, 12 hour stream, we're only playing six decks. These have been some long leagues. The mono black and the teamer, these Golos decks. Let's keep and get rid of, I guess, Omnath. I think we can find another blue source for the Cavalier. Go, go, power, go, Los. <laughs> we need to end this league without playing Golos. We, I've played Golos, right, in this league? I'm pretty sure I've played Golos in this league. Come on, there you go. Oh, is Omnath really expensive? Oh, I guess it's not. Oh, is Omnath really popular for EDH and everything too? That makes sense. That's rude. All right, but at least we still have our Risen Reef. Yeah, there's, there's all five colors of mana in this deck, and so it's just a good card, and it can activate in this deck ramps really, really quickly and everything. So if they do have Nyssa, Cavalier of Gales in the air will be able to pressure Nyssa. So I played that. Our mana, our opponent has like infinite mana with the ley lines like that. These things had three, so three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They have eleven mana right now, which I guess I'm I'm gonna have like that much too. Right now I have, if they activate the incubation druid, then they'll be get up to thirteen. I have three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. That's really not that bad for me. It's obviously it's bad for me, but we get to shuffle away the stomping ground, scry to. Those are bad. I was gonna say maybe find star of extinction. Like think if we find star of extinction. Oh, I only have one red. Oh, I need to play that other red. We've got to find red mana, and star of extinction. There you go. Love it. Let's do the Cavalier trigger first. Good, no star. Now we draw stars here. Star. Yeah. Ooh, Golos. If I would have done the Risen Reef triggers first, 
we would not have gotten the star. But I was like, they're not going to just put the star of extinction, like, up close, like, one of our first cards to draw and make it really easy for us. So let's mill over five first, and then, you know, while we're digging for it. I hope they play Nyssa and more mana creatures. I hope they have three more creatures in hand, and they just play them all here. But not Voracious Hydra. Voracious Hydra mean. Play Nyssa. Nyssa, animate a land. Make it a... Make a land a creature. Nessa, Nessa. What am I going to get back with Cavalier? Just Risen Reef? Well, that's not as fun. Oh, I should block with the Leafkin Druid also. Should I? Maybe not. Alright, so Risen Reef. Alright, so... So that's 7 right there. <laughs> They're down to two two lands. Now I have millions of lands in Golos. <laughs> Star of Extinction, it's so great. It's so great. No, they're not going to flood the board faster than me. They only had two lands left. That was it. And we had millions of lands. So are we just going to just kind of do the same thing we just did? Do we actually sideboard? <laughs> yeah, I tried, I tried to do an evil sounding mwahaha there. <laughs> Your friends are going to hate you if you had Star of Extinction. It's really good against the Nissa decks in particular. It's the best against the Nissa decks. I guess I should be playing Melodies. I'm going to cut one Krasis and an Omnath for the two Melodies. <laughs> you do not play Infect or Star of Extinction versus Friends, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Die mortal with my meteor. That was a meteor meteoric card there. Man, all these cards are good. I have to get rid of Golos. I don't want to get rid of Golos though. I like Golos. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Is like we're f I know it it does seem like it's a weird game plan on its surface to flood the board with creatures and then and then and then play a wrath and destroy everything, but we're also we're it's not just flooding the board with creatures because like Risen Reef and Cavalier Thorns and everything they they let you just get lots of lands into play. So we're getting more lands than our opponent in play, and then Cavalier Thorns get something like really important back. But while we're doing this, while we're like flooding the board kind of thing, our opponent is also flooding the board. You know, it's just what our opponent's doing. 
because we're not interacting with them. But it, it en ends up working really well. No. No, Kirtash, your English is great. Probably Cavalier of Gales. Basically no lands. So I'm going to play Hinterland Harbor and Landward all from hand. I wanted, I wanted to hit, you know, multiple lands. So I had a land drop and got a land for free with Risen Reef, but we, we just don't even get to do that. All right, if you take Golas out of the deck, the deck name becomes Teamer Surprise Explosion. <laughs> Teamer Extinction. Gargos. How was this thing? 8 7 Vigilant? So I could go Omnath and kill the Hydroid Crisis. Or I go Cavalier Thorns and keep ramping. See, it seemed weird to starve extinction on this battlefield, but then look, look, like we still have, like we'd have all these lands, they'd have four lands, you know, and then we still have like the same number of cards. So it's like Risen Reef actually makes st starve extinctioning yourself actually not, like it actually makes it pretty, pretty good for you. It's kind of weird. Yep, they're going Hydra. Yeah, Hydra Tribal. Gargos. Voracious and Crasis. There's the Voracious. Cool. I'll take that melody. Thanks. Got another one. Wait, are they holding up negate? The 
The problem is if they have negate. Darn it. Why is everybody playing negate today? These negate people are killing me. They're killing me. Oh yeah, I mean, I can just Tamiyo grab the Star of Extinction back next turn and play Star of Extinction again. <laughs> Rebecca, it doesn't have it. Cast a coward. Okay, I was wrong. Yeah, negate. <laughs> yeah, I could wait till next turn and bait it out with Melody, but Melody is just so much better after I Star of Extinction, right? Like... I want to blow up the board first and then steal their stuff instead of stealing their stuff and then blowing up the board. It's just not a very, it's just a, it's not an ideal sequence. Wait, Gargos? Whenever a creature you control becomes the target of a spell, Gargos fights. Oh, wow, what? Gargos is whenever any creature you control? For some reason in my mind, I thought it was like whenever Gargos, whenever like you target Gargos, not like whenever your opponents target any creature you control. Whoa. I really hope they don't have a second negate. I'm... Uh, that's somebody who's tapping for another negate right there. Yeah, that's somebody who's tapping for another negate. If I, if I double Cavalier, I need 15 toughness. No, it's just, no, because stealing the Hydras isn't good with Gargos, because every, whenever I steal stuff, they kill stuff. Every story is an opportunity for new data. I think, I think this is my plan. I'm going all in on the Star of Extinction. I follow the tracks of the wise. Yeah, I'm going all in. Bleh. Alright, they did have second negate. Why does everybody have to be playing all these stupid negates? No, I mean, I'm just playing Veil of Summer for their negates instead of my own negates. Veil of Summer makes a lot more sense to play. Costs one instead of two. Also draws you a card. Thanks so much for the this the uh, donation deck there. I appreciate that. Cool.
Cool. So yeah, what uh, do you have a, a preference on when you would like me to play the deck? And yeah, make sure you send me the deck list as well. <laughs> you forgot to add the link. Just add the link here in chat, Tony. It's all good. I'll save it. And then not streaming tomorrow, so do you want me to play it Friday? No, I don't go to... No, I don't play FNM. Okay, cool. Do you want me to play it uh, early in the stream or late in the stream? Does, like, any of those matter? I play... I'm going to be playing four decks, three to ten. Do you have a slot for second, third, or fourth that you'd like me to play it? They had nothing to do this turn? What could be in their hand? They had nothing to do this turn. I probably should be attacking with the land war off also, honestly. Oh, never mind. This worked out well. Okay, you're going to be seeing it on YouTube after work. Either way. You're welcome. So what we got here? Vivian's Fighting Hydras. Okay, we have a similar deck to what we're playing against. Gargos, Voracious, Hydroid Krasis, with Vivian Arco Ranger to fight also, Tamio Nissa. Yeah, this one looks pretty cool. Oh, Hungering Hydra too. Give me more Risen Reefs. Cavalier Gales are pretty cool. Just get some flying attackers in here. Ugh, things so big. Alright, well, we don't have lethal. I guess I need to chump block the Gargos with a Risen Reef. To not die. I would really like to find Star of Extinction. Let's see if we find it. Yeah. Give me that star.
extinction. Shuffle it up. What do we get? A crisis? I'll take a crisis. No, we shouldn't. No, the, the reason why we're playing Melody, not Mass Manipulation stuff, is, is really for vampires. I want Melody against the Danto Vanguard and Knight of the Ebon Legion early. Mass Manipulation's too slow, too expensive. No, Veil does Veil doesn't stop Hydra from killing your thing. Veil is protect or gives your gives you hexproof from blue and black. A Hydra is green. For those of you thinking that I miss lethal by not keeping my creature alive with Veil, it, it Veil doesn't save my creature. Oh, you're you're welcome, Tony. Okay. The first thing, just just looking at the deck, I I'm thinking the deck may want a twenty fifth land. I'm not sure twenty four is enough. I'm skeptical twenty four is enough. Man, I want Land War Elf. I want turn one Land War Elf. The rest of the hand just doesn't do anything. Cause that's what our draw steps are for though, right? No, I would not put this, no, I, this deck should be 26 lands. That's all you want to do is hit land drops with like everything. This is definitely not a 25 land deck. I was hoping that they were going to kill my land off there. All right, Starman, have fun at the concert. Yeah, but even with the the ramp creatures and Nissa, you still you need you need lands. You need to be hitting your land drops. What is what's your least favorite card in the deck? If you had to get rid of a card, Where'd I finish in rank for the season? Uh, I'm not sure. I Last night I was at like 1100 and I didn't play again since then. I didn't play any ranked since then. So somewhere around there. Maybe, you know, so maybe I moved off to, to a little bit under that or so. Um, 
the top the whole try to get into the top thousand thing only matters if you didn't if you weren't in the top thousand before in a different season uh, if you didn't already have the qualification already had the qualification so I didn't really try to get the top thousand. Um, Terramander. So this is Drake's. I was thinking this was Phoenix. Looks like it's Drake's, though. Terramander's a good card. I still probably... I should have just taken out Star of Extinction in this matchup, though. Or... I don't know. No, I don't think that aggro is the way to go with the elemental decks. Well, the hands that we saw this game were the worst hands that we have seen with this deck yet. You know, our seven card hand, our six card hand, and this five card hand. We have not seen it nearly as bad as hands as this game before. But it's it's coming through though. Got a 2-2 two -two here to block these 1-1s, one aka die to shock. And then we have a 5-5 five -five, though. The 5-5 five -five will be good. Yeah, just more <clears throat> painful green mana here, though. All right, but we stabilized. Not attacking. That's good. Tapped out. You ready to throw down? Time for the star. Time to choose. Oh, it's so exciting. Star power. Shuffle up. Scrap those to the bottom. Put the crisis on top. Man, Star of Extinction is so awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah, Vivian is fantastic. Yeah. Six, seven, eight. Let's 
Is this gonna get spell pierced? <laughs> Alright, sure. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. It's nice having a card like Cavalier Thorns that like forces your opponent to like double lava coil it before and like ramps you also before you even play your Hydroid Crisis. <laughs> All right, and we are four and one. Man, we have like back to back four hour leagues basically, or three hour leagues. These decks, these last two decks have been taking a while. Because all you do in this deck is you just like ramp, blow up everything up with Star of Extinction, make a board again, maybe blow things up again with Star of Extinction, and then eventually before you mill out, you try to figure out how to kill your opponent before you mill out. <laughs> this is not the definition of killing people quickly. The final boss playlist has been a curse for us today, though. We've lost every single one of the games that we've played with the final boss playlist today. Our 5-0 that we had there, I didn't I did not switch to the final boss playlist and we won. Ooh. Maybe another Risen Reef here? Esper. Esper final boss. All right, we ramping. When you're building a deck, how do you start it? Do you go for a card and build around that? Usually, yeah. Uh, that or, yeah, I have like a, yeah. Basically, I have a couple cards in mind that I want to try to, try to maximize. Well, that was a perfect turn for the opponent. Absolute perfect turn. Now we draw our Hydroid Crisis. Nope. Hmm, too late. I guess that land war is tapped. Yeah, I'm recording all the decks. Yep, every deck is always up on the YouTube channel. There's not really anything special with the building process. Um, ugh. Yeah, nothing special. It's just kind of me knowing cards that I want to play just from playing so much and just kind of usually Usually I put the deck, usually maybe put like, you know, 75, 80 cards, you know, I just like, you know, kind of go through or like, or it's just like if I'm, you know, like a green red deck, I'll go through like the green and red cards and click, you know, click like all the cards that I maybe won in the deck and have like way too many cards in the deck and then go from there and cut, cut things down to 60 kind of thing and kind of like look at. Like a, a huge a huge deck with like lots of cards in it.
It's hard to cut stuff. I guess it's Cavalier Gales. I guess. It gets shut down by Narset. It's very bad against Narset. I don't think I need Flame Sweep. I, I, just because that last game, Flame Sweep would have been very good. I don't, I don't know that necessarily the other games are going to go just like that. So if they... This hand could be good or bad. Like this, this hand could be just fine if they just have like slow control -y, have lots of interaction kind of stuff. But if they have turn two hero, this is not going to be a good hand. We're doing it. This hand, though, was very good against turn two hero with getting that Risen Reef. That was pretty perfect. Was pretty perfect. No, there aren't like people. There aren't really any like main Abzan decks that people are playing too much of. Certainly hoping for Nokia's Wrath. Wow. I was not expecting that with the turn two hero. I was not really expecting Kaya's Wrath with turn two hero, but that's where we're at. Yeah, I know, I jinxed myself. So I have like the perfect card. Let's slow this down. <laughs> oh, I've done the Not so sure about that. I 
I'm not I don't cycle. know of a resource to find good free to play decks. Maybe somebody in chat can help you out there. I don't I do not know. Uh, Agent of Treachery is not good against Scapeshift. Not that I know of. As soon as I think of one. Well, not looking good. Because that Teferi I couldn't veil summer, can't negate. All I'm drawing. I don't know why all the Teferi Planeswalkers are, are like this. I don't know. No, Omnath ETB won't, wouldn't kill the Teferi because it would. This you have to keep one to choose, so it only deal one damage. Draw some spells. Draw some spells. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, found stuff. Let's skip to the good part. So Chandra starts with six. All right, so I'm going to Chandra minus three, and then attack to Little Teferi. Or sorry, Big Teferi. No, I guess maybe Little Teferi. Give me negate. Way. Poor, 
you know, don't. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. The past is never forgotten. Alright, so I got Veil of Summer to protect against Hostage Shaker. Yeah, I really like my Grixis deck against Scape Shift. They just have a hostage taker. Twenty six cards. Let me aid your research. I'm not going to be able to kill my opponent, am I? Before I mill out. I really need Jace in this deck. Thank you. Yeah, that's true. The Chandra emblems can add up fast. Hmm. Like, if they have, like, little Teferi in play, these Veil Summers and Negates and stuff aren't doing anything. So I'm going to trim one of those and also trim one of the Leaf Kin Druids, especially seeing they have Kaya's Wrath and stuff. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get these other Star Extinctions in here. I don't think my opponent's really playing Counter Magic. You know, we haven't seen any Counter Magic at all, and I don't, I don't think they have Counter Magic. So I think having Star of Extinction, if, especially since they're Hostage Takering, they're, like, taking my stuff with Hostage Taker and everything. I feel like that's where I want to be. Yeah, negate really good for Big Teferi and Kaya's Wrath. Veil Summer, good for Thought Erasure, Hostage Taker, Dispark. If you show remorse, I'll show you. I'll protect you.
Trust me, I have a plan. If I play Chandra, and then they just spark, could be bad for me. Get out of my way! I'm burning up here. Out. Only time will tell. I don't, I'm not convinced that the emblem is going to really make a difference. I mean, obviously it will make a difference, but that it will be better than getting that Teferi off the battlefield right away. Because no be their deck can gain just a ton of life with Oath of Kaya and the the flyer and everything I only have one blue source I was playing on playing Risen Reef Antamio Time for plan B. I've got time. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. I've got it. So I just have one card in hand. To the library. Try this.
Still not a land. So I'm letting them kill my Tamiyo. I mean, Tamiyo grab Tamiyo, though. <clears throat> they they can bounce my Krasis. Yeah, minus three the Teferi, bounce the Krasis. Or they just have removal spell for Krasis. And then attack. All right, hoping no negate. Hope I get to Star of Extinction. Something. Because they're just down to one card, and I'll have seven. <laughs> I have become too involved with my work. Sound of settling. Now what? Interesting. They kept another little Teferi on top. Right on schedule. I've got time. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to burn. Let's make some more room to fight in. Try this. Okay. GG's. We got there. What's up, Akeem? Defeated Esper final boss. Man, a lot of really great leagues tonight. Wow, and we got a mythic here. You know, like you're guaranteed the 2100 gold and the two rares. But yeah, and we got a mythic, so 80 gems. We'll take it. Ah, yes, the fanfare. We get some fanfare there for getting the five wins. There's just so much card advantage with this deck. It's pretty crazy. So I think I think moving forward, maybe what the thing to do is to take out Golos and put in Jace. Uh, that, that would have to change the mana base up, of course, also. But, you know, we talked about that quite a bit. If we had, you know, Jace Wielder of Mysteries does make our life a lot easier because we're just milling ourselves out so fast in so many of these games. And so, yeah, playing playing Jace instead of the Goloses. Um, we'd switch up the mana base, you know, not play all these shock lands, of course. Uh, you know, not play the white and the black shock lands then. Um, and then that, that does give us the ability. We could have a couple. We could play, like, two Field of the Dead also. Just because, you know, we just ramp so much. Like, we, we could actually just play a couple Field of the Dead, which I guess means we wouldn't play Blood Sun. Um, but no, no Nissa's. No, because like Nissa is really bad to play with Star of Extinction. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're a Star of Extinction deck, and Star of Extinction is awesome. So, Teamer Star Surprise, probably just Teamer Extinction. That probably be the. I've got to. I'll change this up. Be Teamer Extinction with Jace. You want to craft right now? I mean, I'd have to like take. A, all right, so just quick and dirty. Updates would be take out Golos, put in Jace, and then just change the mana base. Yeah. 
Um, and so mana base, we would just take out tomb, tomb, temple, temple. Definitely get another crag in there. So how many green sources is this? Eight, 16, 17, like 18, 19, and then just like another steam vents. 19 green is probably good. Just something like that. Field of the Dead's also an option, but maybe not. Maybe we don't want it since we need like triple blue for this cavalier, triple green for this cavalier. And there we go. Teamer Extinction. So pretty sweet there. There you go. You got it? Good. So yeah, if you want to cra craft it up, we, you know, take a picture there. All right. Uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons, of course, like always. But that's it here for Teamer Golos, which will, in short, be Teamer Extinction next time. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.